Hello everyone and welcome back to Operation Water Drop, a program for English speaking and reading in a way you can share with your students. Today we will be learning Lesson 14, the story of the birth of Moses. We will also learn adjectives to describe people's appearance and their personality. Are you ready? Grab your notebooks, sit up straight, and let's get started. Let's learn our new vocabulary words from my precious book together. Are you ready? Princess. Princess. The princess is wearing a crown. Princess. Male. Male. Male is another word for boy or man. Male. Basket. Basket. We can use a basket to carry things. Basket. Adrift. Adrift. The man is adrift in the ocean and he doesn't know where he will go. Adrift. Down. Down. Down is the opposite of up. Down. River, river. Many fish live in the river. River. Find, find. The man is happy to find land. Find. Adopted. Adopted. He is the girl's adopted brother. Adopted. Raised. Raised. It takes love and care to raise a child. Raise. Plans. Plans. We can make many plans, but only God knows what will happen. Plans. Declare. Declare. Declare is to say something loudly and strongly. Declare. Prosper. Prosper. To prosper is to grow rich, healthy, and strong. Prosper. Harm. Harm. The older boy wants to harm the younger boy. Harm. Hope. Hope. Even in the difficult times, there is hope for a better future. Hope. Future. Future. We leave the past behind and look forward to a bright future. Future. Great job, everyone. 
Let's learn our power verse together. Are you ready? Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. You know these words. Declare. Declare. Plans. Plans. Prosper. Prosper. Harm. Harm. Hope. Hope. Future. Future. Let's read our power verse together one more time. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Great job, everyone. Now let's read My Precious Book together. My Precious Book, page 27. The young woman in the picture is a princess and the baby is Moses. Pharaoh wanted to kill all male babies and Moses' mother had to hide him in a basket and set him adrift down the river. The princess found baby Moses and saved him. She also adopted and raised him. Where did the princess find baby Moses? We can learn three important points from this power verse and from our story. Number one, God knows the plans he has for us, just like he knows the plans for baby Moses. Number two, God's plans are good plans, plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Number three, God's plans give us a hope and a future. Great job, everyone. Now let's learn our new English vocabulary words together. Today we are learning about adjectives. Adjectives are words to describe people and things. First, we will learn adjectives of appearance or the way people look. Tall. Tall. The older boy is taller than the shorter boy. Tall. Short. Short. The girl is shorter than the boy. Short. Beautiful. Beautiful. The beautiful woman is wearing a pink dress. Beautiful. Handsome. Handsome. The woman thinks the man walking by is very handsome. Handsome. Pretty. Pretty. The princess looks very pretty in her pink dress. Pretty. Fat. Fat. 
When we eat too much, we become fat. Fat. Thin. Thin. The girl is tall and thin. Thin. Small. Small. Small is the opposite of big. Small. Ugly. Ugly. The monster is very ugly and scary. Ugly. Now let's learn adjectives about personality. Are you ready? Kind. Kind. Be kind to each other. You can be kind by sharing. Kind. Nice. Nice. The nice student gave his teacher a gift. Nice. Friendly. Friendly. The friendly boy asked the new student to sit with him. Friendly. Shy. Shy. A shy person is a little nervous to talk in front of many people. Shy. Helpful. Helpful. The helpful students are cleaning the classroom. Helpful. Outgoing. Outgoing. An outgoing person likes to talk to many different people. Outgoing. Quiet. Quiet. A quiet person talks softly. Quiet. Loud. Loud. You can hear a loud person from very far away. Loud. Mean. Mean. The mean boy is looking for trouble. Mean. Caring. Caring. If we are caring to each other, we can make a better world. Caring. Serious. Serious. The serious man does not smile very often. Serious. Funny. Funny. The monkey is very funny and makes people laugh. Funny. Clever. Clever. The clever boy did very well on his test. Clever. Smart. Smart. The smart girl also did very well on her test. Smart. Clever and smart are synonyms or almost the same word. Brave. Brave. 
The brave boy is ready to protect his kingdom. Brave. Lazy. Lazy. The cat is very lazy and likes to sleep all day. Lazy. Rude. Rude. The rude man is not thinking about how to be nice to the person behind him. Rude. Unkind. Unkind. Yelling or scaring someone is a very unkind thing to do. Unkind. Awesome job, everyone. Now let's practice our dialogue together. Lesson 14, Dialogue. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm feeling really excited. My older sister and my two younger brothers are coming to visit me. That is great. What is your older sister like? My sister is tall and very pretty. She is a little bit thin. She is friendly and helpful. She is also very clever. I want to meet her. What about your two younger brothers? My younger brothers are twins. They are both short and a little fat. They are very outgoing. One brother is very serious, but my other brother is very funny. What about your brother? My brother is tall and handsome. He is a little lazy though and he likes to sleep all day. But he is also very brave. He kills spiders for me and takes care of me. Wow, you must love your brother a lot. Yes, I do. I think he is very caring. Thank you so much for learning English with me today. I hope you can practice your different adjectives of personality and appearance. If this video helped you learn English, please like and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!